Hi, hello and welcome to lecture 5 for the Linux command line. Let's go ahead and open our terminal window. Perfect. Let's do a very uh, fast recap of what we have done the last four lectures. So we have done the date command, the calendar command, the ls command, list command, we have done we have done the uh, make directory command. I actually didn't tell you how to make multiple folders in uh, same time. So you can say make directory folder one. If I go to the CD desktop, you can say make directory folder one, folder two, folder three. Perfect. So you can make multiple folders at once. Let's just leave them now. Okay, we have learned the cp command, the copy command with the general form file name one, file name two, any number of files and to a given directory. And we have learned the uh, move command, uh, same thing as uh, the copy command except it just cut the all the files so it, do it doesn't leave a copy, it just, it just move it exactly like it uh literally move it to another f uh directory uh pretty good and we have used the less command to view text file and the more command to also view text files and the only difference is that uh more command just uh view the text file in the command line while the less command executes a program to view the uh, uh the text file so i will use more for a shorter text files and i will use less for a bigger text files and we also learned I think that's actually what we have learned until now oh yeah and we have learned the cd command and the cd two dots to go to the parent directory and the cd to go to the home directory straight away so today we are going to learn uh, two commands very easy command and we are also going to learn a wildcard so I will tell you what a wildcard means in two minutes Perfect. Uh, let's learn the PWD command. What is PWD? So if I just write PWD, it prints the path of the directory. So it gives you the. Uh, it's actually PWD translates for print working directory. So it's very easy command. Just tell you the path. So if you go to the CD workspace. Uh, sorry. If you go to CD workspace and CD Oracle and CD bin and say PWD, it just print the path for the for the bin directory. So it's you see home Kabari workspace Oracle bin. Perfect. And if you just go to the home directory and they send PWD, just print the home directory the so it's a very easy command as not there is no variations of pwd so that's one uh, the other command is file and file and then you give file name or a directory name that's the general uh, form of a file command file means just print the type of the file so if i go to, to the desktop of course we know that right this is like uh, the spreadsheet for uh, for Excel, for a spreadsheet for the Linux. So it's like the Excel version of Linux. So if I say less Excel dot ODS, maybe a binary file. Oh, sorry, it's not less. Uh, no, I don't want to see it. Uh, if I say file Excel dot ODS, it says, you see here, it says excel.ods is an open document spreadsheet so it gives you the file type and if I say uh, file uh, desktop2 it will say desktop is simply a directory so it's a pretty easy command it just displays the type of a given file actually you can view this spreadsheet with the less command so if you say less excel.ods uh, and you just type Y. As you can see here, it opens the uh, the Excel.ods, but it's it's a mess. So 
let's see if you can if you can view it with more excel dot ods and you can even view it with more perfect so uh, these are the two commands that we have learned today the f the le uh, the uh, pwd command and the file command we are also going to learn one more command which is um, we will going to learn the uh, store command so what is a wildcard a wildcard is a single character that have a special meaning in linux command line so store means everything or all files so if i go to desktop and say let's make a directory first call it folder one so if i say cp store and put it into folder one what does what 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 this command will execute it will copy everything and put it in the folder one uh, except it will not copy the desktop and the linux command line because as we said you cannot copy directory into another directory you can only move them so if i say cp star folder one you see and if you open folder one now you see that excel and text one are already copied and it says here that it's omitting directory desktop 2 and it's also omitting folder 1 because you cannot copy these two directories into another directory perfect and if we delete this one let's make two new folders let's say make directory folder 1 folder 2 and let's move everything we have here into folder 2 so we'll say move star folder 2 perfect as you see it's magic you have moved everything in folder 2 except you see here it says move cannot move folder 2 to a subdirectory of itself that makes sense you cannot you cannot move this you cannot move a folder into the same folder doesn't make sense right so it's just this, uh, this is like an explanation of why it can't move folder 2 into folder 2 okay so this is that's it for now we have learned how to uh, uh, print the working directory we have learned how to uh, view the file type with the command file and we have also learned a new wildcard which is a star that means everything or all files uh, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye bye.